All right, I was worried I would have a much harder time getting the uh, front pulley bolt off. Surprisingly, this is not required. Um, my 66 doesn't even have, I had to make a bolt like this for the 66 in order to turn it over and or uh, put the um, pulley back on. So that was good. I jammed a screwdriver in. I probably bent the uh, timing cover a little bit because that's what I was pushing against to get the fucker off. But uh, now this is interesting. Is that there's a bunch of putty. Not sure what that was for, but uh, yeah. Anyway, nice big ass uh, inch and a quarter. Now I do have a puller, I'll have to go get it, and we'll pull that fucker off. Hopefully I got a third one, or we're doing two. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Proper triangulation going on here. Where's my electric one? I need it, god damn it. Three quarter. There we go. Yeah. Alright. The uh, timing chain job is going to be so much easier with the engine on the ground here. With it in the car, even with the uh, radiator out and everything, it was uh, it was not fun. If you look under here, this is the underside, of course, you know, the engine's right, right over on side. This is where the oil pan meets the bottom of the uh, timing chain cover. This, these four bolts here, when it was in the car, are what uh, screwed me for a long time. Uh, not to mention that one of these was not a bolt, the whole the thread was stripped out. So someone had a nut on there, and good fucking luck is what I can tell you. So someone crams a nut on the top of that and you got to get under you know while it's in the car nasty i thought about just cutting the fucking thing right off but eventually got it but you know like i was having to get in there with a little tiny screwdriver and inch it you know about you know a 20th of a turn every it was yeah unfun but anyway that's the uh, uh this is where i would say most slant oil leaks happen right here just because you know you got a cover a cover sandwiched onto a lip in the block and uh, it's just it's just what it is what it is that's why someone's gooped the shit out of this and uh, that's probably where that other rubber that I found came from right so I've got these gaskets and uh, they'll be much easier to put on in this situation and uh, that'll be sweet Holding on up here, apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, so there you go, boys. That needed to be done no matter what. That was, but that's why we're here. Look at that. It's just terrible, man. That was gonna go anyway. Now, luckily for Plymouth uh, Slant Six owners everywhere, I've uh, demonstrated that this is not an interference engine. When it uh, skipped a tooth, there was no uh, damage to the uh, valves or pistons or anything. Just doesn't hit. Well, the world continues to be full of excitement. Yep.
to use the puller on that. We're going to get to it in a sec here, but uh, my favorite part of any engine is the camshaft. It's like the computer program, the timing element. It's what tells the engine how to breathe in and out. So it's very important. And the it only takes a subtle change to the profile of the cam to change everything, you know, substantially change everything about the engine, for better or worse. Okay, here's a tip for you not to do. If you have five cars, don't uh, use them all. Don't use all the trunks of all five to hold tools because I had to go through four of them to get this. Recess, motherfuckers. Alright. Use all mechanical advantage, boys. I will replace the gears along with the chain. They're cheap. I think it was 40 bucks or something last time I bought. And it was Chineseum, but uh, they, they, they felt good. Oh. There's this bushing here, and then there's one in the middle, and one at the end. So sometimes what happens is, you know, the, the cam falls down on the other side of the uh, middle journal there. Yeah, see, I can't lift it with enough force to get the top end up off. Oh, hold on. What had the combination? It's kind of what it's like. It's a six lobe fucking key. There we go. Bastard. Come on. Yeah, I might have to do this another. I kind of forgot about the accessories on that are still underneath. All right, I'll be back. This is gonna take a bit. Fucking weird, man. I was thinking that these look a little too uh, transparent. You can see the light through. It's a fucking. It's a some kind of phenolic. You know, plasticish ear on that fucker. I've never seen one before. That's what makes it so light too, it's crazy. When I took it off, I should have noticed that it's like nothing like the one that I, uh... That's <laughs> strange, man. I've never seen one. Not, not on that, not on the, uh... On the cam. Kinda neat, but... They've got it fit on there in just such a way. It's crazy, like how does that not slip? I guess it's, uh, it's peened over this side. I guess that'll hold it, but well, it's peened over a little bit on both sides. Maybe that's it's it's pinched pinch fit. Yeah, fucking weird. I love it. Some fucking high technology for the inside of a 50-year-old engine. That's been replaced a couple times, I'm sure, but uh, 